Okay, 76%, almost at the end. Yeah, fleet missions are successes. The smugglers then. Okay, so let's do the fleet thing first. Add more docks. In any case, but I'm not saving a 40 space frigate. I will be saving a 50 space frigate, and I don't want to save the brig. No, that brig. So I will salvage a 40 space frigate. I can't. Can I postpone this decision? I can't until... Wait, can I choose? Hmm... Yeah, but I can't choose the ships that just returned because they haven't completed yet. So I guess that's salvaging. Alright. South Atlantic. Meh. South Africa. Useful. Northwest Europe. Oh, yes. Eastern Canada. Meh. So Northwest Europe. And I'm thinking South Africa. No, Northwest. I can ship this. No, Northwest Europe and the Bay of Biscayne. Okay. <laughs> Only ninety three per cent. Are they gonna take out my mana wall? Ow. Didn't think it was gonna hit that one. Do another one. Crap. That was expensive. Oh. 
fine. We'll be fine. Take it out. No, Bill Biscay, Schooner, Big Faggot. I think all Faggots should do. Someone kill something. Ow. One gunboat. One lone gunboat. Actually, let's do this just for the hell of it. before my speedy manual does. Okay. Let's start with Northwestern Europe. Damn it, I don't have 70. Send in the rows. Hang on a minute. Forget. Mm. 
I don't have the 75, damn it. Maybe I need to get a better man of war. Bay of Biscay. Too bad I can't board a legendary ship. Oh, finally something that requires a man of war. That's it, I can't send any more. Mm. Should I do South Africa? Still have plenty of ships in the fleet. Let's do South Africa. Let's do all man of war. Fight. How do I know? How do I aim a fireball? And take it out. first then speedy forget then my regular forgets Gunboat. Then schooner. No, then gunboat. Then speedy forget. Then schooner. Oh, I'm gonna get fire barrels on this. Send in the boats. Man of war on the way. Man of war on the way. And In the mana wall, and next time I have a frigate, I can choose between the 40 ones. Okay. 
That'll be enough for now. Now, I've been told that the mission guy here only appears at the end. Captain which is Hill. weird. But. Unfold, mate. Let's move! We have a smuggler then to uncover. Shorten sail! Get off the squall! Loose up! Where do I need to go? Over there, right. I wanted the chest. Spanish Kuno. Three hundred nautical miles. Our force patrol these waters closely, Captain. Bearing hard for cliffs, Captain. Not that hard. Clue up! Clue up! Muzzle that duck, my trumps. Captain overboard. Um, open the chest. Open the chest. Only five remain. And then we need to scour this area and head for. Oh, I wanted the fragment first. Anyway, I need to find the smugglers then. What exactly is the mission? Locate Spanish ships. I think those are Spanish ships. Let's take out the brig first. Of course. Some distance from that mana wall. Fire! Stay out of their range, Captain! Captain, look, mortars! Fire! Enemy sail, sir! Incoming fire! Here it comes! Steady, lads! Don't worry, we got this. Fire! 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 Fire!
Awaiting order, sir. Fire! 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 On your mark, come out! Get up there, sir! That don't want your mark! Fire! Weak is right there, come out! Fire! Fire! Okay. Ease off the wind. Muzzle your top. Whew. That wasn't so hard. Right. Frigate. Yeah, I'll take the, I'll take both of them. Pull them in with a will. Kill scouts. And the flag. Okay. Nah, this won't work. I need to get higher up. Higher up. Come on. Lime this thing. Easiest way down is using the hook. Oh, come on, use your goddamn swords! Scavenge that. We'll stand in your boat. Kill the captain. Take the fight to them. Keep my deck clear. Do you hear the news? Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on. Go, go, go! I want that frig that other brig. Actually, I just want to sink that other brig. So, while I'm heading for that... Who's still firing? No, come on, climb. those ships. Well, let's see, who has the metal? Oh, mission complete. Okay. Let's go pick up some stuff. Hello, do you want to join? Damn, that's a lot of cargo. Ghost the gallants and royals. Reef the four men. Starboard, booty cast a drift, Captain. Hang on.
crowd on every inch of sail. Stunsels, let's ride this quarrel. Douse the royals and tops. Trim off the wind, my boys. Ease her. As much sail as you can. Crowd on mm. the sail we have. Close up. No, let's do this first. And I can teleport here when I'm done. Doggo! Good doggo! Yay, pet five dogs! You are. Think you could use a little help disappearing, friend? No, I like, I like it. Fortune's favor. Five five one seven eight. I'm at 42266. Care to lose the lawman, friend? I think I have nothing here. Maybe I'll, sell, maybe I'll sell some cargo. Yeah. Need the plans, but I can get a new figurehead and it won't be too much. Took the Queen Anne's Revenge figurehead, sure. Oh, yeah, ammunition. Eh. Yeah, it's not really a figure how it's tied to the ship. Seguro que será provechoso para los dos. Uh, he doesn't hide. Who built these stupid oh. structures? There's Zipub. Of course, they're guarding a manuscript. You're also a good dog. Chronicles of the Sphatos de Gwyn. Portrait of Henry the Navigator, benefactor of many famous 15th century explorers, once belonged to the estate of Peter Beckford. My deepening predicament. It is with deep sadness I should now relate the genesis of my feeling of great isolation for my parents. Even at so young an age, and my powerful sense that I was too much different from them, meaning that though they had borne me and raised me, it seemed not of their issue, nor of their kind. 
and the reverie described previously cast this feeling in a firmer mold. I seemed not to be of this world at all. Indeed, there were days when I felt not remotely human at all, but of an other kind of creature entire. Between the time of my fourth year and my fourteenth, I was given to such a profusion of reveries and ideas and dreams that I should sound mad to describe them, yet by outward appearance I was as normal as any lad, and further was never particularly troubled by what crossed my mind. Visions of great cities made of glass, portraits of beautiful men and women in great flowing robes, machines that generated lightning as easily as thunderclouds, vehicles that flew in the skies as birds. As I say, ideas and visions too fanciful to be entertained by any sane minds, yet all too real in my head to be ignored. My Apprenticeship When I was aged 14 years and my father, my feeling I should discover some better skill or trade sensible to my habits of mind, apprenticed me to a master carpenter joiner called Jonathan Davenport of Boston. Master Davenport had then many slaves and two other white boys in his employ one a bricklayer by trade and the other a carpenter, both not terrible clever. But seeing in me a certain spark of intelligence and wit, Master Davenport was all too keen to place me as a joiner, and I was happy to oblige, the position earning me some two pound a year and great satisfaction of spirit. A joiner's work requires a nice and steady hand, and a great taste in ornament, both qualities Master Davenport told me I had in large measure. And so it was with great pride that, well, prior to the customary seven years, I took leave of my master after only five and set out on my own at nineteen years of age, to seek my success, now a man and master in my own right. My master was not sad to see me go, but, had me good, but bade me good fortune, for he knew in his heart that I was the greatest talent he had yet apprenticed. For there is something of a natural genius in you, lad, a wisdom beyond your years. And so, packing a kit of all my worldly possessions, I bid my mother and father much love and farewell, then took passage on a merchant brig bound for Jamaica in the West Indies, where needful carpenters of skill were greatly needed. Bartholomew Roberts, born in 1682, Wales. Originally hailing from Wales, little is known about John Roberts, the real name of the man who would come to be known as Black Bart long after his death. Most assume he went to sea at a very young age, at 13 or so, but there is no record of him in any historical documents until his noted appearance in 1718 aboard a merchant ship, Barbadian in origin. Just a year later, our picture of Robert's life sharpens considerably. We now know he was pressed into piracy by the notorious Harold Davis while walking aboard a slave ship under Captain Abraham Plum. And though Roberts had likely not gone to sea with the intent of becoming a pirate, when the opportunity thrust itself upon him, Roberts was reported to have said, A merry life and a short one shall be my motto. A few months later, Davis was killed in an ambush on the Portuguese island of Prin Principe, and Roberts was swiftly and unanimously elected to replace him. This was surely a testament to the man's natural charisma and leadership, for he had been a pirate only a few months. It was at this point he took the name Bartholomew, likely naming himself for the infamous Bartholomew Sharp, a pirate of some renown who had disappeared just two decades earlier. One of the most intelligent and strategic pirates of the Golden Age, Roberts was a sturdy, handsome man known to dress in fine clothes, a handsome man who carried himself with a dignified but unpretentious air. He had dark hair to match his dark complexion, likely set from all the almost two decades he had spent at sea. He often carried numerous pistols, each tied to one end of long silk sashes, which he kept slung over his shoulder. His tactical ideas were usually radical, but thoughtfully considered. He never jumped into any scheme rashly, though his ideas seemed almost suicidal to those unacquainted with his methods. Ultimately responsible for the theft of around 400 ships in his three-year career, he bested every other pirate of the era by a factor of ten times or more, although it must be said that at least half these boats were small carriers and the like. Okay. Now this. Actually, let's do this first.
Then this fragment. What the hell are you doing? Then this letter, which I will not read now because my throat is messing with me. Pito. Then I will grab that fragment. <coughs> and do this pub. Expensive drink. Uh huh. Okay, whatever. I'll get them. Let's try the cheaper drink. And then the chests. Is there actual fishing to be done in these waters? And now the contract. Please at least have one be here. Just part Captain wishes to capture four Chinchiro for himself. Didn't I already do that? Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's my fault. Stay away from my fault. La producción del maestro Thomas envía a varios agentes. Okay, so next is the fragment. Loose and catch the wind. I want that fragment. Get those bars free. Let's see that. Every door. last scrap. Every last scrap. jump yeah uh, cargo hmm. 
Only two left. Okay, now I'm gonna first level to my fort. I'm gonna kill the guy trying to take over my fault. Many men are free that can we? Devil they call him. But I got one thing he don't have. This fort. I'd love to see the devil try to get past my men. He won't, of course, but if he did, oh, I'd show him hell. I bet you would. This is my fault. What if you never fought fault? the half gopher, then you'd know what I mean. Tell it to the sea. I'm sick of your boasting and speaking in tongues. You'll regret saying that when you're face to face with the monster of the north. It'll swallow you and your ship with it. And any whales that happen to be nearby at the time. If it was no match for your swell head, it don't scare me. <laughs> no? Well, if you don't want to do it like that, we can do it like that. Come here. Agent. Okay, let's start one walk. Gunner. Yeah, who do you people think you are taking over my fort? I see you. I am warning you. Listen to me or die, idiot. I will. The hell you go. Who the hell do you think you are? I conquer this fourth fell and square. Hey, I want to talk to you. Get over here. No, I want to kill you. Oh. Okay, this is done. Port back over here. Captain has the hands out. Let's go. The hell? Oh, 
Two up the floor! Quit your soldering! I'll be having you, pretty! That's a uh, manual. Get the mains free! Bring them in for a speedy kiss! Kill scouts. That's a man of wall, so I think I'm gonna just take it. Get the main spring, Captain. Well, was that contract building? Oh, the okay. With big ease off the wind, haul in all sail. Haul hearty, lads. Fill those mains. Yeah, fine. Get out some sail. Fall, fall all sail. Do you hear the news? Do you Captain hear the news? Do you hear the news? Wheel the pirate talk. The group of smugglers building ancient cases being led by a Templar aristocrat. Find the group and kill him. Stay out of combat. It's over there. That wasn't gonna be my next target. After I take this fragment. Yes, after I take this fragment. Well, the boats. La producción del maestro Thomas sería varios. Fight the girl. Mains out. Let's go. That's a pirate boat. Let's move. Tops, gallants, royals, stars. Man your sheets. Man your sheets. What's a man of war guarding the this area? Let's just kill it. In your mark, Captain.
And I have one more shot for the powder reserves. Come on. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Jump! I'm gonna take it. I need to raise my wanted status. Lose and catch the wind. Means I need to cause more damage. Lose all, let's move. Lose topsails, gallons and rolls. Why on the left? Oh, yeah, that thing. Later. On. Ready to fire! Come on, climb this thing. Climb it. Seriously, dude. Climb this thing! Jesus! Um, 
Non tak dalej, pal. No, I'm skipping that one. But that is a Spanish brig. Lots of rum. That's another brig. Metal. Next target is this. Damn, my throat is killing me. I'm gonna need a big tea when this is over. Give okay. me some speed. Looks like the people with the metal have left. How about I take them anyway? Let's get moving! I know she's a good sailor! Now prove it, my trumps! I want the medal. Pull them down to hell, lads! Mm, it's cool, boys are easy. Altra idea. Loose main sails. We now have the materials required to make the ship stronger, sir. Fire! Miss Damage! <laughs> Ready to fire, sir! Warship incoming, Captain! Frigates! There ain't one of the Spanish! That's the long sector! <laughs> Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Fire! Oh, oh come on! on. Hit the bastards! Back off! Fire! Brace yourselves for Cleveland! Caution, Edward! Fire! I'm having a hit, sir! Fire! Yeah. Dose the royals and tops! Fire! Keep his right there, Fire! Fire! Yeah! I've landed a solid body, sir! Ah! Oof. They do some damage. 
Need to repair now. Reel them in, me truck. Damn it, I need to hit the powder reserve. Hello. <laughs> now I need a repair. Look what you did. Spanish frigate. Can I catch it? Yeah, sure, let's catch it. I think we won't be boarding this time. We are going to hit them! <laughs> they are on the bowline to hell! Come to planks! Pilot hunters, come get me. I think I have a cold. They have metal. Not a gun, not a schooner. Let's take out the schooner. Roll the dogs out! 
Let's make it fun. That's a mana wall and a brig. <laughs> I would say the danger has passed. No, hardly. Oof. That's an army. Let them pass. More sail! All sail! I just want this dive. And the smugglers then. Ease off the wind! Three chests, two fragments, one secret. Lots of jellyfish. Yeah, I thought so. Dear God, ah, Elchins. <sighs> what? Is someone looking at me? Was the chest? Rum fifty five. Nice. Don't touch the Elchins, these are really bad. They sting for days. I have a treasure map for this. Six one one eight four. One fifty five one seventy eight. Uh hope I'll get it. Oh hi. Yeah, you'll find one for a swim. Didn't see where he went. But you can go after him. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. That's my target. Do you have any bullets? Do you have a weapon? Nice. Guarding the cadaver. And they're gonna find the body. No. Climb. Oh, I plundered all the dens. Um. There we go. Do you guys want to be alone? Because that will be very helpful for me. Why aren't you carrying your blades on these missions? So stupid. Uh-huh. Ow! Ow! Oof, I can't shoot. I can shoot? No, I can't shoot. Mm. You are to feed birds! Heavy shot. Ooh. 307195. I thought I found. Because I don't like you. And I'm guessing the way out is up. Up through here? No. No way. There's no way out. To 
This has to be the way out. Oh, there's a way out. So where the hell is this treasure? Oh, that's the light from the sky inside the cave. I think I get it. I think I get it. Isn't it to here? I guess it's over there. Yes. Ah, barefoot! Okay, it's just money. But it adds to my count. So, what was that about a lead shot? Feel seven one nine five. Seven one nine five. That place. Just a moment. That's the correct location. When you see from the top, that's the top I'm guessing, there's a pool. Well, there's the pool. Near the pool. Hang on a minute. Oh wait. This is the pool? So it should be here? Yes. One elite heavy shot plan. That's where it should be. So I need to go here. 
Unfold, mate! Look at the hunter. And if I don't want to look at the hunter? Starboard, Captain. God Come damn it. Captain. Main Rich, bring in the risk Pull! Fire! Tumble up! Do you hear the news? Ready to spit, sir. All sail! She'll take it! You will found the ship, Captain! Fatten yourselves! Fire! That's everyone. Man of War, rum and sugar. Trim the yards off the wind. Muzzle your tops, my trumps. Yeah, just bash it. Tops, royals, studs. No, don't bash it. It's a royal convoy. Reef the four men, hold in the topsails. Read them in, me trumps. Damn it! Yeah, sent to the fleet, that's a lot of gems. Give me some speed! That's... who knows? Just bash it. Use top seals, gallants and royals! Rice! Oh, we're we're gonna get them! Douse all but mains! But that... is carrying money.
Uh, good morning. I prefer in English, but I can answer in Hebrew. I'm aiming for an international audience. As much sale as you can! But everyone is welcome. Come on, you slugs! Man those sheets! How are you doing? Ready me cows! Down to the drink! Okay, if I bash the money, the money ship, I get all the money. Okay. Why can't I go there? God damn it. Fine. Uh, let's do the dive and then the main mission. Loose and trim two! Close down! Man your sheets! White whale location. Sugar. Come on. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's just do the dive. No. Let's call kill them first. Come on. Gunboat? What the hell is that? They stink. To Lavern, sir! Sir! There's close the royals and tops! Okay. Let's do the dive. She rises. Way up she rises. Why is there a red area here? Let's ride this quote! Hello, Yen, I'm born. And what to do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? Hello, Yen, I'm born. Yeah. That's enough wanted level. I'm just waiting for the pirate hunter and then I'll have my achievement.
seven chests, three fragments. Probably shocks. Okay, let's do this first. What's already beeping? Shocks? Then this fragment. Hi shark. Hi shark. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh. Ow. Chest. Ooh, plan. What plan? And uh, other chest. Elite Ram, yes. You shit, shite. How do I get there? Does this open? Ow. Then I'll get the barrel and start working on those chests. Ow, 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 ow. Away, away, ow. No, I'm not getting into the... Ah! chest. It's deeper. How do I get there? Okay. Now I have this fragment. Is on top. Up, up, damn it, up. Now I need that barrel. Chest. God damn you! Punch it in the eye!
Get jellyfish. And then let's get the other one. Yes, I know about the weeds. And back. Careful, careful. Well, is that Elite Hunter? Ooh, the Royal Fortune. Booty. Oh, Spanish plague. Spanish frigate. Yeah, let them go. Spanish men of war. Before we do that, I want to dock here and get the chest. Thank you. Pull down! Pull down! Pull the mains! Grief those gallons! Cannons in the water! Oh, I can start the mission from here. Cool. Save me some time. <coughs> Only four chests remain. Can you feel it, Addy? We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? Uh. It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. 
Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. All right. Locate Benjamin. Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty that you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget working with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring mm -hmm. them here and let them protect this place. Mm -hmm. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. <sighs> We'll have a hard fight if Hornigold draws us any deeper into this fog. We're nearing the devil's backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, the Spaniards call it. We're clear, Captain. It's okay. I can handle it. The backbone of a beast? Eh. Someone blowing in! Frigates! Royal Navy! Just the long set, Captain! I think it's cracked as fuck. Incoming fire! Ray! It's a sir! Come here, we're here for Horny Gold. But I'll destroy anything in the way. Ready to spit, sir! Danum Don Chill! You will founder the ship, can we? What? What happened? More Fire! enemies, Fire! 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 Ow. Mains out, let's go. It's those stupid long animations that I can't navigate through. Frigate. The Athena. Is that Horny Gold? Got you. The Benjamin. Getting close. Can you do this, brother? Good job. Yes. Oh, I was gonna wreck on the island and I'm gonna have to go get him. I will be coming back. Stay out of combat while finding Holy Gold and Earl assassinates. Sure. Oh, I haven't been here before. <laughs> what are you doing?
Yeah, there's no way through here. Is that the gunner? I don't know. No, you idiot. Of course, I can't whistle while I while I hang from a from a cliff because it's the same goddamn button. <sighs> it's a mighty piss poor sailing back there, lads. And if we live out this day, by God, I'm playing every last hey, bit of you. Shit, shit, shit. Steady up and keep your backs together, lads. This fight ain't over. He's way beyond visual range. I have to go get the chests on the second go around. Where is that gunner? There's no one here. Two of them. Well, you know what I like to do with brutes. Grenada. I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after me, sure as I'm standing here. I can get him from here! God damn it. A boat, a boat. I've got a clear... Okay. Don't cause a scene, got it. Now. 
two of them right there and two of them right there and when they both look away both look away this is when I go back there lads and if we live out this day by god I'm playing every last bit of you steady up and keep your backs together lads this fight ain't over so what are the chests Shit, 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 shit. Come back here and face us like a man. Hey, come back. Are you furious? Oh, no, you don't. Come back. I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after me, sure as I'm standing here. Hold your ground, and be ready for anything. Oh. <clears throat> you could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. Damn sight better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mate. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell? Oh, nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated. No. <clears throat> These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course... You'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. <sighs> I did stay out of combat. Okay. There are two chests here. Oh. A prick of tobacco. And there are two chests here. Three hostages without being detected. Spaniels, they were English a second ago. 
¿Te cansaste de cuidar cerdos? Sí. Uh, your friend just stopped talking and you don't care? Well, oh, the chest. Well, is the entrance. Uh huh. And there's this fragment. Which I understand how to get. Are these guys moving anywhere? Damn it. Shit. Shit. It's up there. Come on, don't tell me it's not climbable. Come on. Climate. Tu sacaré las tripas. Fine, then how do I get up there? Uh, fine. Crap. Oh, that was nice. Is that all of it? Good, another keystone.
But you're not gonna tell me how many. Okay. Next at Stella. Is this the last one? Good. Another keystone. But how many more do I need? Um, you're standing in the water. Hello. Okay. This is more like it. Four seven nine four eight seven. I'm on two two one two four seven. Two two one two four seven. No. I see you. Missing secret. Oh, mm. uh, damn, the camera shakes. I think that's everything. Unless there's a 20. Oh, it's Bartholomew's story. It pains me now to think of my feelings of my departure from Boston and from my dear parents who raised me so well, for in hindsight I think perhaps I should have been melancholy or anxious at the, at the least. Yet leaving home at so spry an age ranks as one of the great joys of my life. Never before or since did I ever feel such an embrace of freedom. Yet not all concerning my leaving was joyous, as it, is, as it was around this time that the voices came upon me strong, much like a man whispering in my ears. These voices were neither sinister in nature, nor did they prevent mature dealings with my fellow man. But unlike my reveries, 
which came to me in my sleep or in daydreams, these voices came upon me at times inconvenient to my present purpose. Day and night they intruded without provocation, and though they were not constant, they were certainly frequent in nature. That's a different spelling for nature. The strangest of all had the qualities of memories. There were times, too, that I seemed to hear my own voice among them. Was it possible that I heard conversations from a previous life, memories of those I knew, memories of engagement long past? In the next letter I shall relate what were perhaps the most confounding snatches of conversation. Here I relate one such memory, repeated ad nauseum through the whole of my life, myself, a man and two women. A woman, as biological traits are passed from one generation to another, why should we not engineer the humans to pass learned information to their offspring as well? It is well within our scope, and here, as other, wo other women interrupts, never. Already we have made them sturdy and strong, why should we gift them with new advantages over us? We are dying, the war is tilting against us, we should discover a means to our own salvation, not theirs. And here the man disagreed. Our time is done, the instruments of our will shall soon be our masters, and we shall fade away. Perhaps not in ten or twenty years, but certainly this century is our last. Why not therefore gift the humans with added faculties for wisdom and growth? Why not let them pass on the accumulations of their learnings from one generation to the next? By ever ascending degrees, the humans shall be as wise as we are. And here I seem to speak. It can be done by simple manipulation of the code within their blood. We could improve their lot. And here the second woman screams, absolutely not. And then the memories are ended. So the first civilization made it happen. Benjamin Honeygold. In 1718, Captain Woods Rogers arrived in NASA with a fleet of seven tall ships and declared himself the king's appointee as governor. With a mandate to rid the Bahamas of all pirates, Rogers was not a man to be trifled with. Honeygold, who had grown quite sick of defending a republic few were willing to back, surrendered to the governor and took the pardon. In the year following, Benjamin Honeygold grew to admire Captain Rogers and walked as privateer for the governor as often as he could, ultimately raising his reputation far above what it had been as a mere pirate. But when his activities brought him back into the sphere of his old friend, the pirate Edward Kenway, he seemingly got, his seemingly good fortune came to an end. Benjamin Honeygold died under mysterious circumstances in the summer of 1919, somewhere in the western seas of the West Indies. 1919? 1719. Opia Pito, born 1695. Born in Cuba, assassin bureau leader Opia Pito was raised Taino, among her mother's people, never knowing her father, a Spaniard. At 12, her village was raided by the Spanish, most of her community was kidnapped or killed, but Opia, the lone free survivor, fought and ran. She survived in hiding for close to a decade. Much of what we know of Opia is inseparable from legend. Her name, possibly self-given, is an amalgam of the Taino words for eternity and ghost. She claimed to be a direct descendant of the warrior Hatui, who stood against the Spanish in the 16th century. She was guided throughout her life by the mantra Aji Ayabom, better dead than a slave. In her early 20s, she was hired by the assassins as a guide and was soon adopted into their ranks. She delighted in characteristic Taino approach to strategy, preferring to harm the enemy by taking something from him in battle that he might live to notice it missing. But as an assassin, she did not shrink from violence. True to her name, once promoted to assassin bureau leader, she built an agile and highly effective ghost bureau near the Cayman Islands, with virtually no physical footprint to speak of. We might regard it today as an early example of a terrorist cell, but she left no records and no descendants, and until now history has held no record of it. I also found speculation that her father was the adventurer Alejandro Marquez, which would have made her a sister to Lucia Marquez. Can we verify that? And what about the Houthi connection? Almost none of this is verifiable. Half the books report that Taino is extinct by this time, but her present day descendants beg to differ. Okay, so this area is clear. Can I go looking for some... What was the main mission? Here. 
Isn't that? Yeah. Um, let's see about the maps. Let's try this. 479487. 479487. Blue Spain sails! Mail off on the four, come on! That's the place. There's a smuggler's den in here. You can see the exit. But really, why aren't you taking your blades? Just the blades. Shout for the urchins. Ah. Cliff near a climb. At least let me have my camera. God damn it. How can I avoid obstacles if you don't let me see? Oh, I think I get it. It's here. Fireballs. Yeah, I think I'll just no, I'll skip the whole thing. <coughs> Elite heavy shot storage, nine oh one two six three. Two six three. Other On the ship, take <sighs> what are you doing, you freaking idiot? Take the thing and then cross the gap, and then on the right. Oh, here's the ship. Stop. I have a 
Oh, damn you. Keep him busy. He cannot run all day. I have a clear fix on him. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You have ammo? Okay, from the ship. Cross the thing. Let me have a look. Get up, cross the gap, okay. the gap and on the right there we go these maps rely too much on temporary temporary markings okay Three, three, five, four, six, nine. Three, three, five. Three, three, five. Four, six, nine. Yeah, that's an undiscovered location. Five, two, five, two, five, three. I think that's also an undiscovered location. Five two five two five three. That's the observatory. Awesome. Before I teleport, it is. It is the observatory. Okay, let's go. Where are those pirate hunters you promised me? Do I need to bother more, more ships? Hello! Oof, too far. Okay. Actually, if they're hunting me, I'll give you my broadside. Oh, 
No, it doesn't count till I sing them. They have metal. They have some cargo. We can take that. Do not let them board us. You are finished. Get them back. Sure, I'll salvage it. Let out some sail! Loose the mains, half sails! See it works! So doesn't that count as level 3 pirate hunters? That's a pirate hunting frigate. Never mind. Let's do this manually. So does it count? Get the mainsail into the wind. Tops, gallants, royals, studs. Hearty like Hearty, I said hearty. Larboard, Captain. Shipwreck, Jack Ahoy. Still alive, Captain. Okay, who do? Who else do I have to piss off to get a level three hunter? And you are not going to be taken prisoner. As much sail as you can! Seats, drink, <laughs> party! Yeah, on the all the royals and tops! Hey. Nice, they filled my heavy shot, but I just could still use more mortals. Loose all, let's move! All sails loose and stays tight! Brig. Brig. How much? 35 metal. Fire! Hey! 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 Keep 
The observatory. <clears throat> is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. Yeah, I figured. By the way, what is the rest of the Templar hunt? The men native to this land will put up a fight, Edward. Are you willing to push back if necessary? Uh, yeah, okay, this is my this is the map. I hope I I understand it. To kill if needed. Because the oh god. It was killed in some stalking zones. Okay. Where was the rest of the Templar hunt? Was it in some known city? Probably near Cuba? It's probably in a city, right? Not in Nassau. Havana? Doesn't look like it. Okay, Bona Vista? Not a thing. Tulum? Tulum is not a thing. What is it? Yeah, that's the last mission, huh? Out of Providencia? Nope. What the hell am I anyway? Uh. Let me check for a second. Black flag, Templar hunt, Otia. Templar hunt, op Opia, Apito. Templar ships, the right hand man, the trail of Lucia Marquez. Let's sail for Pinos Isle. Yeah, I've done Vargas, I need Pinos Isle, 335469. 335. Oh, she's here. Okay. Let me go first, come on. Inquested Guardians, Stopping Zones, and While Unarmed. And he's hiding. How do I even get there? No, that's not gonna work. I can do this.
Then I can wait for him to wake up. I guess that doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Let's reload. land will put up a fight, Edward. Are you willing to push back if necessary, huh? To kill if needed. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely not sneaking up on these guys. Get going. But if I'm already here, Let's grab that. And there's a chest. Well... Long Bay. <laughs> I see a croc. That's a croc. Another clock.
Okay, that's the one. Ah. Am I going back? I don't know. <coughs> Towers are way farther apart. That's three. Ha, knew it. Now. Still one more somewhere over there. I need to get past it and get past the clock. Clear the caves. Did I get everything I needed to get? Yeah, some cargo and some clocks. Can I craft anything useful right now? Sleep dots. Haven't allowed the rope dot yet. And it feels like I'm close to the end and no rope dot. Should I have gotten the rope dot already? Everything is permitted. <coughs> Did 
talk to Eddie and Atabai and he'll give you the rope dot. When is this? Sequence 11. Mm hmm. Here's the towel. That's a hutia. That's a monkey. <clears throat> so, I grab the cargo. I climb this thing. from the outside because it's stupid like that <clears throat> then I sink the towel Then from the towel, there are two huts, and it should be near the clump of trees. Okay. And then there's a fragment. Seriously. Mush. Okay. Uh, with the backs to me? Really? That's how you got things? Over here, stupid. Thank you. If I shoot him and he falls, it's probably going to be lethal. It's going to probably count as lethal.
Where the hell is this here? It's probably number 20. Yep. Upon my route to the West Indies, a curious incident aroused in me a revelation. It was a wanton act of violence that I witnessed, one that proved fatal only to its instigator, a pardon pirate named Savory, who had come aboard to walk off his debts as an honest Christian, yet died a devil full of drink after mistaking the reasonable abjuration of his fellow men for insult. He was taken by a self-inflicted pistol shot sustained as he attempted to load his piece in preparation for the first of six duels which he had arranged as challenges against our group. All of us were sad for his misfortune, but none were sorry that our crew grew quieter in his absence. And yet, at seeing the poor chap wound himself so, and witnessing the blood freely flowing from his body, a notion sprang upon me like an idea long dormant, already within me yet awaiting a chance to reappear. Thence came the phrase I had heard before springing in my mind, the code in their blood. Suddenly it was sensible to me, the code of life, like a shipbuilder's droughts in miniature, is responsible for building each and every man and woman on earth. How is it that such an idea made perfect sense to me? How is it I understood already that which had no precedent in the most modern philosophies, the code of life in our blood, imagine? These ideas swirled within me for many weeks upon that voyage, spinning in such a maelstrom of thought I could not articulate them. Reaching Jamaica, I pushed all idle thoughts and fantasies from my mind and set about finding myself employment. A letter of endorsement from my mentor, Mr. Davenport, hastened my success, and within a fortnight I was able to secure an interview with an agent working for the estimable Mr. Peter Beckford, a man known wide across the West Indies as a one of honor and good intelligence as I must say was his agent, for the man hired me on the spot, and within two days' time was I set to work upon the slaves' quarters, fitting them with sturdier doors and tighter roofs. For my own accommodations I am well pleased to tell they were fine. Three windows had I, two of which looked upon the cane fields. When opened, a light breeze filled my room, one scented with the raw perfume of the nearby sea, and the distant sound of a hushing ocean surf. Often, too, the spiritual songs of the Negroes hard at work entered, and gave me a deep calm. It was pleasant there. Only this comfort could not mask the dread I felt at the thought of catching the yellow fever, or another of the innumerable ailments that often struck those newly arrived to these parts. For my part, I saw well over 17 men and women perish from the disease within six months of my arrival. It seemed, then, that for every success I had, another two or three potential hazards lay in wait, and as time would tell, this proved most unfortunately true. The Sage Abstergo's archives contain a few references to men called the Sage or S. Sage, but they are few and far between. Each sighting seems to refer to a different person living in a vastly different time and location. The earliest example was found on a Sumerian clay tablet in cuneiform script. I read all that. Update. Thanks in large part to a series of letters acquired through the efforts of our researchers, we now have some sense of what constitutes a sage. It appears that such a person, always a man, is the result of a bizarre experiment perpetrated by Juno, one of the luminaries of the so-called First Civilization, with the aid of her husband, Aita. Apparently using her husband's DNA as a base, Juno manipulated this genetic material to create a program that she then inserted as junk DNA into the human genome. Though harmless by all appearances, this program could, under the right circumstances, activate suddenly during the conception of a human child, and quite literally reconfigure itself into the genome of her husband. In this way, a near-perfect replica or clone of this man's personality and intelligence, with all its memories intact, would appear in lieu of the actual child that should have resulted from this union. It is unknown at this point why Juno should have wanted her husband's likeness to continually recur through the centuries and millennia, especially in light of the first civilization's swift extinction barely a hundred years after Juno and her kind walked the earth. Yet it remains a sobering fact that there is a very high probability that one such replica of this Eta is alive and walking the earth at this very moment. That's a distinct possibility. <coughs> Wait, go back, go back. 
There's no. Okay. Need to get back up though. of them. And there's another hunter. Shit! Um... Probably take care of him first. No? And that other chest is somewhere else. It's on top. What? Fragment isn't here. All right, this way.
Hang on before I continue. Chest, chest, chest. Wait, I missed the chest? No, there's no way to reach that chest. No way, right? Maybe there is. That's where I came from. Oh, there's no way. <clears throat> I should probably aim for this. This is the way. Starting structures now. Structures in the middle of the jungle. It's like we're playing Indiana Jones or something. Climb up there? Sure. Ow! Who shot that? Is this the observatory? All this? Aye. An almost sacred thing. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Hang on, hang on. Just synchronizing. Damn, I need to wrap it up. Ooh, my installer. Damn, big place. Um, can I do this first? Yeah. 
Of course. Ah, another Mayan keystone. Is this the last one? Hola, monkey. Oh, I'm missing more chests. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. I don't know if we'll save otherwise. Yes, I know. And the door opens after almost 80,000 years. Jesus, Robert! Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick what? up that chest and carry it hither. The uh, hell? Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember. But it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible? Yeah. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Really? Well, that's a step further than I'd go. Look at this place. Yep. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Insane. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. Oof. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this epoch. Here we are. Place the chest just there. The hell? What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. What? So, what is this place? This is the observatory. It is a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. Holy I shit. Know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass fight? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Hey, lad, that's my lass you're making love to. You lay off for a kasha. Off your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. <laughs> oh, oh, is that right, is it? Lad? 
A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. How is it doing this? You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. Oof. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial dram of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. Obviously. There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role. But our partnership is done! You're a dead man, Robert! Find a way out. Can I climb this? No. Can I climb this? took the thing and he closed the door right now I know I need to get that fragment mm. I think yeah I get it this must be the way hello Bernhardt nice to see you again how are you doing? Yeah, actually you're catching me on my last segment. I'm about to to leave. Um after I get out of this place. How the hell I hate the camera bullshit in this game. Whoa! 
I still missed two chests. Is that my crew or his crew? I'm not sure. Survive. Ow. What the hell was that? Gotta move on. Oh, I'm bleeding out. Why can't you move? Move faster, man. Robots! Die! Escape a fight to regenerate. Yeah, I'm bleeding out. Oh, your jackdaw's flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? Have you? Uh, I guess I'm about to. Oh, great. Well, I hope a Jamaican prison is an interesting one. Whoa, 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 this is not a Jamaican prison. Did Sean and Rebecca kidnap me? That'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but yeah. with our high level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when the hacker is found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? <sighs> amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. Right. I'm screwed. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think... We need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server phone. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now. So when I... What the hell are you doing? This is no time to go back to work. But there's a thing here. Speaking of one. Manifesto of the Instruments of the First Will, writ by a true disciple this day, 21st of October 2013, in anticipation of the anniversary of her ascension, may she guide us into the grey. Um, I'm not gonna go back to work, I'm gonna go get lunch, and I'll be back for this probably tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow afternoon, because I have a game in the morning. Uh, so that's it. Sorry if you joined late, but I'm already three and a half hours on and my wife needs the internet. <laughs> uh, so, thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.